All right, guys, again, welcome back. Today we are going to do beignets. I'm very happy that you guys are here to learn. Maybe some of you guys know how to do it already. You want to see how I do mine. But what we are going to need is, I'm just going to do like a small batch for about six people. So I have here, I'm going to use like five bananas. The first thing you have to have is bananas. These are not very ripe. Uh, the ones that I usually like to purchase are the ones that are very, that have dark spots all over the place. So this is all I could find. And that's what we're going to use. So you get five bananas. And uh, I'm going to go take them with it, but that's good. Let me just, um, we are going to mash them. And if you have any question, just let me know, all right? Is any one of you doing it? Um, cooking or you just watching? Is anybody doing it? Watching. Watching? Just watching? All right. It's okay. Because I'm going to post the video on my YouTube um, channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so because there's more yummy recipe coming. All right? African recipe, American recipes, you know, I like to do all of them. So what you do is just you mash them. I like to mash them with my with a fork. And that's why it's, it's good to have very ripe ones because if you do, the ones that you have are not very uh, ripe, they're not going to be um, easy to mash. But these are fine, you know. Not bad, not bad. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna warm um, one fourth cup of water to put the yeast in. So I'm, I'm gonna want um, a little bit of water. Hello. I should have done that first. How to call them? Tell them the time. The time is one of them. Some people don't know. This. You don't want the water to be hot. You want it to be warm at the touch. I think this is fine. It's not too hot because then um, it will deactivate the yeast. So just make sure your water is warm, not hot. And I'm going to put in half a tablespoon of um, dry yeast. I use this brand that I purchased from Costco. If you have a Costco uh, where you live. So just going to leave it in there for about five to ten minutes until it foams. You see that it's going to be foaming in inside. I'm not going to push, put sugar. I mean, some people put sugar in it um, to help. So I'm putting like a tablespoon of sugar. Okay. And then I'm going to continue mashing my bananas while the yeast is doing its thing. How are you guys enjoying your quarantine time? I'm enjoying mine because I like to cook. I like to stay home and cook. So... No problem with me. If you want to hang out with me, let me know. We can cook. We can do this every day. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put my banana in a bowl. All right, now I'm going to add the sugar. Uh, where's my measuring cup? But anyway, um, let's see. 
Yo, Ashira was live at 1.50 something a.m. Mm -hmm. Ashira went live 1 something a.m. Almost 2. So, I'm going to put, um, this is a one-third. That's fine. I'm going to put one, half a cup of sugar. This is like a one cup measuring thing, so just make sure it's like half, half a cup of sugar. And we need salt. Um, half a tablespoon of salt. This, the salt balances the sugar, so it makes it very tasty. If you wonder, um, that and I need a spatula. Start mix, mixing. And you don't have to worry about uh, if when you mash the bananas they're not like super fine because you're not even gonna see the lumps when you do the beignet when you fry them. So. Alright, so I added the sugar, I added the salt, and um, now I'm just going to add the corn, the cornmeal. Since this is for five, five bananas, I'm just going to need like a cup. Is it a cup? Uh. No, no, half a cup. I'm sorry. I do, I do it in my head, so I don't have a recipe written down somewhere. So, for five bananas, you need half a cup of cornmeal. So, which this is it? And you need a half a cup of cornmeal and a cup of all-purpose flour. Just mix everything together. And one thing that I'm going to say is, um, when, if you buy very, very ripe bananas, the one that are like the skin is all dark, you usually don't need to add more water. The reason we add the, water, the yeast in the water is to make sure that that yeast is still active, but it's really not necessary. I was just doing this. I know my, my yeast is kind of new, so I know it's active. It's not a yeast that has been sitting there for a long time and you don't even know if it works or not because then if you have your yeast it's been sitting in your 
pantry for a long time, then you need to check. That's why if you look at the post that I, I um, the pictures that I posted, the videos that I posted uh, this week, I did not put my yeast in the warm water because I knew it was active. So that's the only reason. And then you add the water if your banana is not very ripe, just to so that the dough is not too too thick. So if your dough is, if your bananas are very ripe, you really don't need to add water. And sometimes you don't even add sugar, not a lot of sugar, because over here I put like half a cup of sugar. And sometimes I cook with just like a tablespoon, depending on how ripe the bananas are. And when they're very ripe, they are very sweet. So you don't need to add any sugar. It makes it healthier. So as you can see here, I don't know if you can see, this is what the, you know, this is a consistent, consti consistency. <laughs> All right, what it should look like. And then when you leave it um, to rest, it's gonna not double in size. It doesn't rise like when you do um, the other kind of beignet just with flour, um, because there's only a little bit of flour in here. And you're just gonna let it rest in a warm area, in a warm place for about minimum an hour, you know. So, so I'm just going to cover it with a plastic film. And the warmest place in my kitchen is my oven. So I'm just gonna leave it there for about an hour or until when I'm ready to fry them. And you can also do this like the day before overnight and it will be fine. Just take it out of the, before you fry it, just take it out of the fridge about an hour before so it comes to room temperature. And guess what? This is what I did, uh, I made a batch this morning, early, and this is what it looks like. You see, it has darkened on the top. So I'm going to show you how to fry them, because some people have a hard time, you know, frying these, you know. So, let's do, I don't know, I'm going to move the camera. So I'm gonna just moving you right here so you can see how I fry them. I put some like um okay. I hope you see it. And I have a f like oil in there. It's not as much. Um, so I need a little bit of water to wash my hands. All right, so I have water to wash my hand and I have a batch that's ready and the oil that is um, getting warm. What do I need? Um, And one thing is you don't want them to the oil to be too hot because then it's gonna burn it's gonna burn and the inside is not gonna be cooked so you want them to be uh, just fine and one secret that I was taught by my mom of course is to take um, like a bamboo thing and just put it in there if you see the bubbles like over here 
you see the, those bubbles it means that the oil is ready and I think it's even warm, very hot so I'm just gonna decrease the shish kebab sticks yeah the sticks um, and this is how I do it I mean some people do it like this with their fingers dough is not um it's not uh, consistent like if it's too liquid it's gonna be very hard for you to fry them because they will just like drip into the oil oh you can do it this way but you have to be careful <laughs> all right Alright, so like I say, I thought they were the the oil was a bit warm, but we're just gonna leave it leave them in there for a few few minutes for them to cook through While they're cooking, I'm just going to clean up. <laughs> what happened to the music? Make sure to check from time to time. guys have any question I'm gonna answer your question later okay because I don't want these to burn and let me see let me see while it's cooking if you have a question <laughs> BDS you can come and have some <laughs> But you have to wait after the corona uh, outbreak, okay? <laughs> oh, thank you, Lily Hope. Thank you so much. How are you? <laughs> I try. Thank you, Tata Solange. Yeah, yes, you should do this. Send me pictures, guys. If any of you do this, please send me pictures. See, they're kind of golden. They look good. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to leave it um, again for another 30 seconds. Just to make sure. I just want to make sure that they cook through. Mm -mm 
I think they are ready. I think they're ready. but this is done this is perfect if it wasn't done it, you will see it, it it will be wider inside and all you do is just put it put it back in the oil and let it cook more all right so this is it i am happy that you stopped by this sunday i'm so happy thank the lord okay all right i'm a little too excited but i'm happy that you guys stopped by and i hope you guys do this and i hope that you if you make them Send me some pictures because I love to see what you guys have done, okay? I'm very happy to be teaching this class the Cameroonian way, all right? All right, guys. If you have any other questions, send me uh, messages, you know. I will be posting this video on my YouTube channel. Again, go there and subscribe, all right? I'll leave all the links on my, um, how do you call on my profile. You will see it there. Go subscribe and share. All right, share because I need more of you get more of you guys. All right, Karin happy say hi, Karin Jita, say hi. Happy Sunday, guys! Again, thank you for stopping by. Have a great day. I love you, love you, love you. All right, bye bye.